um, we, we're creating, sorry, what we're going to put into the CDs, the CD, um, CD slots, okay? And the amount of slots are there are, well, from nothing to, sorry, that doesn't make sense. I'm going to create an amount of slots, um, uh, <clears throat> I'm relating to the length of the, the string. So, here's, let's, here's an example, ready? So we have, say we have the word optic, okay? So remember, we've given, remember, um, we've got the word, strength, word, to scramble, and the word chosen thing. Remember this? Yep. Remember it? So it equals, okay, equals optic, okay? Um, now we want to scramble it. So it's going to get the first letter, optic. Oops, sorry, need to put it in comments. So op. E I C and we're gonna what well, the computer thinks it's zero, right? One, two, three, four. So there are four no, I'm sorry, five slots. Five slots, okay? Five different slots on the C D rack. And what this what this thing's gonna do is it's going to rip each one and put it into the the or the it's gonna put them into the ray word, which is well we we um dimensioned it, okay? Create a variable of it. So remember, it's got a CD rack. Okay, now it's got zero P T I C in the CD rack. Okay, they've all got their own slots. Each letter has their own slots in the CD rack. <coughs> and how it does this? It goes so well zero to the length. So it'll go all the way until it's finished up the length. And this minus one is basically well because um the index value is zero but it's actually five so we need to minus it to or mm, make it understandable so get a word it's kind of like um okay so put the character it's going to array element okay so this is our cd rack and it's got each of the different letters okay it's gonna go here now dim scrumped word as string um equals nothing. um i'll tell you why we'll do this later on it's nothing important really just to avoid errors, doesn't like. I'll, I'll go. I'll tell, talk about it later on. Dim random chooser. Okay, so this random chooser is going is responsible for ripping a random letter. So we've done it as an integer because remember each of these letters has an index. So we're going to relate this random chooser to the index values of the letter. Okay. I'll just follow on. <clears throat> so while word dot count while word dot count is greater than zero. Okay, so this array saying while the array is still well um sorry filled filled with different um letters, okay, in our C D rack. Different albums in our C D rack, okay? And there are five of them, okay? And there are five. So obviously this is going to run in after all this is done because well there's not going to be zero not going to be nothing so it's going to pick a random letter from the existing letters this is what this, this is how this is um this random choose is going to act so it's going to randomize number it's going to random number between not sorry between um any word that's in the array so o p t i c in here it's going to pick one of these it's going to pick one of these letters and it's going to put it in there okay so it's going to so this has got a random letter, okay? So for example, let's pick T, okay? It's, it's picked T. And um sorry, I didn't say when I'm saying about the the word, it's actually picking an index value an index value. So it's gonna pick one of these numbers, and then that's gonna to relate to the array. Okay? Add the random letter to the new scrambled word. Alright. So back to the um, all right. Um, I'll talk about this thing right in a moment. Right now, you know, scrambled word equals scramble word plus word random chooser. Okay. Um. So I've given this value as nothing at first. Okay. So I could have easily just crossed that out. I'll tell you why I can't do that in a sec. Equals scrambled word. So, but the first time this uh, loop goes starts, it's going to be nothing plus word random chooser 
So, it's going to be the array. Okay, remember? So, you know how I... I'll give it an example. Remember this, okay? Remember this? The same principle at the very top here. Oh, I lost it. Shit, sorry. My bad. Um, no, it's the same. X has the same principle. So we've got... That's the array name. And this is the index value. Random choose is the index value. So let's, for example, let, I'm going to pretend I've, I've made, sorry, I've, I've made something. I made an array. So remember, it's like word zero equals, what's it equal? O, right? Optic. So remember, I said T. So if this is two, remember, it's, a, it's, it's an array. So if it's two, then this equals T. Am I, am I not right? Yeah? You guys getting it? I hope so. <clears throat> so it's going to plus this, but since there's nothing in there, well, scrambled word equals um, O. So, um, T, sorry. I started with T, didn't I? So remember, this scrambled word now equals T. Okay? Equals T. So I'll go back here now. I did this because, well, it didn't really like it. Because now it's saying, um, sorry, I didn't um, show the error list. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Variable scrambled word is used before assigned a value. Okay, so basically what it's saying is it's used um, it's used a variable that hasn't been stated yet. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't expect. Well, let me put in clearer words. We've used it before we've even given it a value. So we've just said it's a string but no value. So it's going like scrambled word equals scrambled word. Well. What scrambled word? That's what the computer's trying to say. So I'm um so that's why I have to do equals and make it equal nothing. I just have to do that, okay? <clears throat> um remove the letter from noise. Okay, so now once it's got the word, let's put it in there. Now we want to remove the the word we've just got so it doesn't loop over again to get the same letter so we're gonna remove this this is what the what is gonna do okay it's gonna completely remove that out of the array so then we have OPIC 0134 okay um, remove the letter so this is what yeah, it's gonna remove word uh, remove at random choosing it's gonna remove that okay it's relating to the array. So it's going to go back up while word equals greater than zero, and it is. It's got four. It's going to go back down again. Randomize. It's going to pick a random number. And it's going to put it back. It's going to put the random number in here. It's going to go array. Let's choose C this time, okay? So that means random chooser equals four. But scrambled word, remember previously, equals T. This is going to T plus. Um, what, do, what did I pick? C. So T plus C, and we're going to remove C out of the random chooser thing. All right. It's going to go again. While greater than zero, it's going to choose another model. I think, yeah, guys, sorry. I think you guys get it now. So I'm going to do this now. So in the end, it's going to keep doing that. And it's going to list back five five of those letters into well random order. So we started with T, and then we went to C. I didn't really go through C, but um, the third one. So let's see, um, O, um, P, and I. All right. So that's what this done. It's just initially randomed uh, a character, and it's just added it consecutively. So we're gonna return this return this value, which is this T C O P I back to a sorry our 